Hello and welcome back to Slime Rancher. Um, I'm probably going to continue this series until my ideal farm, like, starts, I guess. Um, it shouldn't be that long now that I got a lot of the slimes that I need to start it. Because, well, ideally, all I really need is, um, all I really need is, like, two types of slime, one type of food that one slime eats, and then I can just feed it to the Largo. I also really like phosphor slimes. Um, but I can't have them until I get the grotto expansion. So that'll be nice. And so basically, what I do for each expansion is the same thing. Like, it's just a bunch of Largos running amok. Kind of like doing whatever they want. What I'm probably going to do when I get back to the ranch is I'm going to sell these pink plorts. I'm going to go back and collect some carrots. I'm going to sleep and then I'm going to go collect some carrots because there are not any around here that are grown quite yet. Or, I could do that. What can I get? None of this. Got it. Oh yeah, and the only points where I typically get scare slimes from my plots is like right when it leads into another area. Like, around here I usually get scare slimes, so they stay, they stay away from this. Because there are no plots near that area. That will... Uh, keep slimes away from where the two areas connect. Because that would lead to tar. I, I can't. Rise and shine. B. Is it B? This leads me to believe that her last name is actually pronounced Libu. Oh no, wait, Beatrix, I'm dumb. Ignore me. <laughs> Hi, B. What's it like to sleep for a whole year? Did you dream? I can't imagine what that's like. 7Z puts you in a pot and then lights out for all that time? Wow. What's the far, far range like? Have you started exploring? Is the air as clear as they say? I bet it's really beautiful. I'm probably asking too many questions. I bet you have a lot of work to do on that ranch. I still can't believe it's yours now. I guess I better leave you to it and just keep you keep it short. Good luck, B. If anyone can make it out there, it's you, Casey. Welcome to the Far Far Range, the Seven Z Corporation. Miss Lebo. Seven Z Corporation would like to welcome welcome you to the Far Far Range. Welcome. Extend our support to you in bold new adventure. In a can't read either apparently. And extend our support to you in our in your bold new adventure. Venture as a slime rancher. Support extended. We'd also like to. Re oh my God! Okay. Wow. We would also like to request that you exercise caution in your first few days on the range. Until you get more familiar with your surroundings, traveling at night is not advisable. 
Lastly, should you require any additional tools for your backpack or items to make your slime ranching experience easier, easier the 7Z Corporation would be pleased to provide them to you from the shop located just outside your ranch house. 7Z Corporation, providing the tools you need to get the job done for us, for a small fee. 7Z Corporation. Fun. I'm gonna go ahead and sleep another day. Ooh. Oh, Thora West. Welcome to the welcome to the range exchange. Oh yeah, it's just the thing that you trade with other people with. Mm. Hi there, Beatrix. The name's Thora West. I'll keep my introduction introduction is short on account that we all got work to do. I'm a longtime rancher here on the far, far range, and the head of the welcome wagon for your local range exchange. The range exchange is the network of ranchers just like yourself who are looking to trade for trade what they got for what they need. Slimes, plort, f plort, food, whatever. All you need to do is check out the range exchange machine daily and be sure to get your trade completed within 24 hours. As more ranchers get added to your network, you should receive a hearty hello from them, so check your inbox. We'll have John. We got. We both got slimes to wrangle. Adios, Beatrix, Thora. Yeah. Okay. So this should be grown now. It is. Bam. I don't know why I'm picking them up. Yeah, I'm just gonna launch those over into the corner, and then launch. Those with it. Bam. Like magic. Get out of here. So what I do is I get food that slimes like. And I get their favorite food. And then I go ahead and make Largos. From them. Oh. And this is why I like boom slimes, because they just throw plorts everywhere. Which is really convenient, because I don't want to get in close to the rock slimes because they hurt very badly. Whew. Another garden. Usually the process is a bit faster than this, but I also usually have other plort- plorts of the other kind, too. But I don't in this case. What are you guys doing over here, you silly gooses? Go over there. No. No. No, 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 get back here. They're pretty sedentary once they're Largos, but this is like- I just gotta keep an eye on them now. The other thing is that they're rock slime, so they just kind of roll around and do whatever they want, which is not helpful. In another one of my games, I got quantum slimes out here. So that leads to some pretty big chaos out here. Because what I do to earn money is basically I I wake up, 
fill up the drone water supply and then I go back to sleep because the drone is meant to pick up all the plorts that are just kind of like laying around and sell them and it's a great way to make money I recommend it to anyone but occasionally wake up and they teleport everywhere because they're quantum slimes so they just do that oh get over here what are you doing and most of all they teleport up there which is super annoying because that means I have to go up there and get them down because on the other side of that is just the slime sea so when they drop in there they're like gone yes okay hey bam more largos ouch Gently scoop them back up. Scoop them. Scoop them. There we go. Scoop. Perfect. Scoop. Scoop. And scoop. Oh, oh no, that got chucked. Happens sometimes. Probably go out and get some boom plorts or boom slimes, whatever. I don't need carrots anymore, so that's good, I suppose. Let me just ah. There we go. Oh yeah, also. Oh, never mind. It just happens on my other save, but see that little home icon? Because it signifies where home is. On my other world, there's a home icon in the sky. It's probably because it's in an earlier version. So like, whatever. Patched out. Not that big of a deal. And uh, you know, I might as well get the entry. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Last few, I don't know, days, weeks, I don't know. I haven't been really paying attention to the ambient temperature of my house. But for the past however long now, um, the thermostat's been broken. Well, not the thermostat, the AC. And I never started the timer. Gosh dang it. We're almost done. But the AC was broken. Um, there's like a pan that water collects in, condenses on a coil somewhere. I don't understand it. So there's a pan that collects water, and it's above the, uh, the heater. 
That's all fine and dandy and everything. But that pan was kind of broken. So it couldn't collect water. So we needed to like replace it. And well, we had no idea at the time because we were like probably camping or something. But now we know, so we got it replaced. It's delightful. And uh, well, we got replaced like just earlier today, actually. It's awesome. But um, for like. Five days straight. Um, not even joking. It was so hot in our house. It was insane. Like, it was uncomfortable to sleep with, like, even a blanket on. And it was just, like, bad. My storytelling skills are off the charts. Uh, so yeah. Out of time. Leave a like if you want to see more of this series specifically and subscribe if you want to see more videos I don't know. see you have a great day